we're going to talk about 18 of the best Blender add-ons for modeling that you can use to save time and take your modeling to the next level. Some of these tools are used for quick and simple tasks and others are really going to change the way you model in Blender. We are going to start the countdown with number 18, Loop Tools. Loop Tools is a useful add-on that comes with Blender and back in the previous versions of Blender, Loop Tools was the only way to get some of the important stuff done. This add-on has a lot of operators for making any number of edges into a circle, making sloppy loops into a perfect curve. Also, it is used to flatten things at strange angles, just to name a few things that Loop Tools can do. Number 17, Advanced Boolean Tools. This add-on comes with nice boolean tools and modifiers that can make the process of modeling hard surfaces easier. Some of the modifiers are Array, Mirror, and Solidify modifier. Also, you can use the boolean by creating a plane, give it thickness, then cut out the difference, which is great for creating hard surface details in a very short period of time. Number 16, Bool Tool. This add-on is a nice way to create complex boolean effects in a simple way like a lot of other tools available for Blender in the marketplace. It is free and available for all Blender users because it is a built-in add-on. There are paid and better alternatives for this tool and they operate using the basic principle which is using primitive geometry to perform a boolean operation to add or extract details and I would say that this add-on here can do a good job for complex modeling or hard surface nonetheless. Number 15, Building Tool. This add-on is interesting because it makes it possible to create nice buildings or houses really fast by adding procedurally some of the most important building blocks for buildings like floors, windows, railings, doors, and roofs. Building tool works using the same principle as the add-ons that are used to create or place intricate details on hard surface models, but instead of that, it is used to generate architectural elements real quick. This add-on is especially good for quick exterior visualizations. Number 14, Instant Meshes Remesh. This free add-on seamlessly integrates the Instant Meshes automatic retopology tool in Blender. Instant Meshes Remesh, as the name suggests, is an add-on to remesh your models. Also, it can be especially useful when you sculpt. For example, the topology will not look as good as you want it to be, so you have to remesh it or retopologize it. Since these types of add-ons exist, I don't recommend doing that by hand because it usually takes a lot of time. This add-on allows you to get way better results compared to using the automatic remesh. You can also use the mesh modifier in Blender, but using the add-on is still a much better choice. Number 13, Archipack. Archipack is a Blender add-on that contains a collection of parametric primitives for ArcViz. It's an easy way to create some of the most needed elements in architectural visualization work like walls, windows, doors, floors, stairs, just to name a few. You can also use presets like the type of stairs or windows which gives a variety and a lot more options to architects and designers who don't want to spend too much time on modeling. Number 12, Pivot Transform. Pivot Transform is an add-on that helps you to change the position of the pivot as needed. You can align it to the normals of the desired polygon, rotate and move it, or place it in the center of the object and 3D cursor. The add-on brings all the necessary functions to have a good experience with objects orientation in space. Often in 3D modeling we have to change the position of our object relative to another, like changing the value of an opening of a lid door, and so on. I think that Pivot Transform is a tool that is going to make a difference in some of the confusing and hard to do manual things such as dealing with pivots. Number 11, Dyne Remesher. Dyne Remesher is a quad based remesher for Blender, which I think is really good for assisting in retopology for Dyne Topo sculpts and 3D scans containing too many triangles. The UI is simplified to make clear and easy to perform the necessary steps for quad remeshing automatically, which is a good thing because no one wants to spend a lot of time or the limited time we have 
trying to figure out complex interfaces. Number 10, Bygen. Bygen is a free and open source add-on designed to simplify the process of creating non-destructive generative modeling styles in Blender. It also lets us use generative modeling styles on existing geometry. It makes heavy use of the modifier stack to provide various forms of the mesh manipulation to let you achieve a variety of geometric effects. Through the use of a simple interface, you can either generate new objects from scratch or apply styles to pre-existing objects. Number 9. Machine Tools Machine Tools is a free, continuously evolving collection of Blender tools and Pi menus in a single customizable package. This add-on is basically good for functional purposes like working in the 3D view, Pi menus, but there are a lot of features for editing like cleanup, meshes, smart vert, smart faces, and so on. Machine Tools is created by the same developers of Mesh Machine and Decal Machine. The only difference is that those two are not for free. Number 8. Smart Fill This add-on extends the functionality of Blender's native fill command. It just adds things like grid fill and bridge edge loops to the mix when necessary. The good thing about Smart Fill, since these actions are so common, having access to all of them by simply hitting F is a fantastic time saver. Number 7. Tessellator Tessellator is a good remeshing add-on that helps you create regular quad and triangle meshes easily out of the sculpt. It can create pure quads, pure triangles, and quad dominant meshes with high control over the flow. Tessellator is one of the best options even though it's not exact, it performs nicely with simple models and can create good looking topology. Also, the new release of Tessellator 1.28 for Blender 2.8 has even better features and the developers are promising to keep working on it by adding more features. Number 6. Modeling Cloth this add-on was created and currently developed by Richard Colburn, which can be considered a good alternative for Blender's cloth simulation system. Modeling Cloth is an alternative cloth simulation engine. You can click and drag, add wrinkles, shrink cloth around objects, mix soft body and cloth effects together, and so much more. The developer is trying to make this add-on work in Blender using similar features and workflow to that we can find in the most popular software for cloth simulations, which is Marvelous Designer. Number 5. Mira Tools Mira Tools are modern modeling and retopology tools. This is a set of tools that the developer dedicated to his daughter called Mira. There are some modeling and retopology tools that were written a while ago. Some of them were taken from Blender like Curve Stretch and Curve Surfaces but Draw Extrude, Linear Deformer, and Curve Guide tools were taken from Lightwave and Moto. That shows us that a lot of add-ons and tools in this industry are inspired by other software and other tools. This add-on has a lot of useful tools like Draw Extrude tool, Poly Loop tool, Curve Surfaces tool, Noise tool, Deformer tool, and a few other tools as well. Number 4. Box Cutter Box Cutter was intended to be a fast on-screen 3D view drawing cutter. Throughout the developer's experiences, they have learned and enhanced the tools through time and experience to optimize the workflow to be as fast as humanly possible for users. They offer a variety of behaviors to personalize the experience to keep things running fluidly. This add-on here is really great for adding hard surface details which can save you a lot of time and energy on some of the mundane modeling tasks. Box cutter operations are non-destructive, which will guarantee that shapes will be kept live until you decide to apply them. Number 3. Retopo Flow Retopo Flow is an add-on that helps to create smooth, efficient, and effective models for high-quality versions of detailed sculpts. Retopo Flow was actually rebuilt from the ground up, and it does help artists turn sculpts and does help artists turn sculpting work into models that are good for practical uses with a fairly easy to use tools. This retopology suite is really good for doing retopology work 
and I think it is one of the easiest and the best options out there in the marketplace. Number two, Heart Ops. Heart Ops is a joint collaboration between its original developers and many other artists in attempting to streamline a hard surface workflow in Blender. Heart Ops has been designed from the ground up to be efficient workflow that is assistant for Blender. This add-on here is one of the best tools for hard surface modeling for Blender due to the number of tools that can offer really nice flow for hard surface modeling which makes it easier and faster to do this type of work. Number one, Mesh Machine. Mesh Machine is a Blender mesh modeling add-on with a focus on hard surface modeling without subdivision surfaces. This is probably the best add-on for hard surface modeling for AAA video games or high quality hard surface models in general. It, it has a lot of great features that can make heavy hard surface modeling work way easier than relying on Blender's tools alone or even some of the best add-ons available in the marketplace. I hope you found this list of Blender's modeling add-ons useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next 